Okay, welcome out everybody for our essential oil class for this evening, online essential oil class. Our essential oil we're gonna talk about is cardamom. Cardamom. And Jade's gonna tell us all about cardamom. Um, it's a wonderful essential oil. It came out a few years ago. Well, I mean, it's always been here on earth, but doTERRA has added it to their repertoire. Yep. Um, and it has some amazing properties. So, all the props, we're going to turn the over to Jade to um, enlighten us. Thank you. And thank you, Ben, for putting this all together for us. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, um, cardamom is new to doTERRA, and when they came out with cardamom, they added it to our Breathe Brent blend. So, that's why you see um, in your shopping cart, uh, Breathe with cardamom. Um, and it's because it's very good for respiratory and digestion. So those are the two main things. Um, you know, you can use it to soothe the throat. I think I spelled that wrong. Um, support the pancreas, increase yeah. energy, relax muscles, and encourage objectivity, self-control, and tolerance. That one is very important, that part, because, you know, uh, it helps with a lot of the physical ailments, um, and uh, just like other oils do, this is very special for that dose emotion alrighty so just remember the two main things that uh, cardamom helps you uh, with is the digestion and um, respiratory okay um, and it comes in this tiny five meal bottle um, and it smells really nice I don't know it smells a little bit um, lemony if I don't know do you feel like it smells like lemony yeah yeah does anybody have um, any experience with cardamom or um, if they like cardamom or if they've used cardamom? I think a lot of people, this is one of the um, newer oils. Um, yeah. So, and it's not really the most popular ones. Um, not yes. because it's not good, but a lot of people are just not familiar yeah. with it. And partly because probably it's, you know, just has been added to, I think it was two years ago. Yeah. So cardamom is used a lot in Asian cooking and it's found in Asia, but this cardamom is found at, and grown in Guatemala. So we remember when uh, doTERRA came out with this, they, um, to source, of, one of the things that sets doTERRA apart is the sourcing. Um, number one, the oils are pure. That means they don't have any added, additives, fillers, or exchanges or anything like that in them. Two is the sourcing. And that only doTERRA is the only essential oil company in the world that um, seeks to find the best, most therapeutic essential oil through sourcing. And that means they go to the place on the planet that grow that has the right climate, the right soil and everything to grow the essential oils that will have the highest therapeutic benefit. And I think a lot of people just don't realize how much that affects the essential oil because we, we yeah. use essential oils for benefit. Mm -hmm. So Emily Wright and Dave Sterling, he's the CEO and you know two of the founding executives of essential oils mm -hmm. from the very beginning. Um, so they went to Guatemala themselves and they made this mm -hmm. video for us and everything and showed us mm -hmm. where they got it from, um, Rob, Rob, Rob Young and er everything. They, um, so they go directly to the growers. So it, it cuts out the middleman and um, yeah. the growers are able to provide better for their family as they come and do all these healing hands projects and everything. And they showed us the seeds mm -hmm. and all of the intricate details that go into producing. It's, very, it's a humid area and they have to dry it. It's very difficult to dry, so they have to have a place to dry it first. And yeah, yeah lots of interesting Pretty, pretty amazing about it. stories there, yeah. Yeah, so you can watch it. There's videos on that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah so this one is from Guatemala. Um, I really like um, cardamom for its, um, just emotional. I use it a lot in my water and things, but um, emotionally that's the most important thing because then that takes care of my physical problems really quickly. But we'll go and start with the body first for everybody uh, so you can start using this because um, sometimes you don't know what emotions to take care of, right? Okay, so it's very easy. You can add it to your diffuser to clean the air. Uh, like most essential oils, it's very highly... Um, what is it? 
uh, strong against well, envir environmental threats. Yeah. yeah, very powerful. So you can read all about the different properties of these and oils. I, and I see you have odors on there as yes. well. Yes. Yeah, so it helps neutralize household so odors. Like, a, like the Purify blend, if you don't have Purify, that's the yeah, it, that's a big slur against odors. This born, is another one too. Yeah, and bond pathogens and things. So that's those really ladies good. who burn things in the kitchen and it fills the house with the burn <laughs> smell. That never happens. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, never burn anything. So cardamom would be a good one to mm. get rid of that <laughs> yep. evidence. No. <laughs> So uh, great for digestive spasms. Um, so cardamom by itself on the bottom of the feet uh, um, will help soothe the nerves. I think we spelled it wrong again here. Um, and spasms <laughs> of digestive, anything's digestive. Um, so, you know, sometimes people have a hard time going to the bathroom um, or when you're detoxing and you've got some cramps, you can either rub it on the bottom of your feet, you can even drink it and put it in your water. So a couple of drops, it tastes uh, like lemon, but it has a, a slightly stronger scent to it. I like it's it. a little bit minty as mm. well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's, um, it's from the, it's very uh, closely related to ginger. That's what people say. Um, so I, I can't see how it's uh, related to ginger, but chemically that's what they say. So it really helps with um, digestion in that way. All right. So the other thing physically it does is to help. This is not in any particular order. <laughs> unlock romantic blockages. Isn't that interesting? Can you give us an example of that? I don't know. <laughs> so I think, you know, holding yourself block and back because you, you think too much. I think that's what it is. Uh, so this is six drops of... You're not able to get romantic. Get into it, right. So six drops of cardamom, two drops of rose, two drops of cinnamon, and three drops of clove. And put that in your diffuser. Now, rose has to do with, like, brotherly love or, or yeah. um, bonding with someone. Yep. Cinnamon is oil of sexuality. Mm -hmm. um, and clove is... Um, Boundaries. Boundaries, so. so it'll help you have healthy boundaries. So that would make sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. But cardamom helps you uh, get out of your head, basically. You know, mm. so that's it. Yep. Yep. Good. So pancreas support um, is another thing that you can use it um, for. So you can rub it over your pancreas area for anybody that have any sort of um, pancreas concerns. So. Um, some of our listeners may not know what the pancreas is, and and the pancreas I guess helps metabolize sugar. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And sometimes we have, um, you know, they have issues that you know you can they label them as pancreatic pancreatitis or something like that too. Just different things that um, have to do with the pancreas, but it doesn't matter what the name is. Um, so if we have concerns there, try um, the uh, cardamom oil and just rub it on and you might want to dilute it and rub it on because some people find that that's very soothing I know a family that uh, they used um, at first they used geranium for two months and it was working um, you know beautifully they actually did their blood sugar test it, before it, and after. people that have diabetes mm -hmm. yep yeah, okay. sorry and then they rubbed um, the geranium over the pancreas and after two months they used another oil so I mean you can try cardamom too because you're healing layers and layers. Uh, so it doesn't mean that the oil doesn't work anymore. It means it, does its, it did its job and you want to go um, to that organ and help it in a different way. Okay. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and just, uh, um, you know, raise your hand or make a comment and, or text in the box. Um, but we don't want to just skip past you or anything or go too fast. Yeah, we might okay. pause if anybody has a question. All right. Okay. Um, yep, feel free to comment. And if you don't want to, that's okay too. So don't feel like you have to. Uh, so cardamom tummy tea. So some people like to put it in uh, hot water and just smell the fragrance and then sip it as it cools down. It helps with uh, uplifting mood. Um, so that's a good thing. Okay, so it does two things. It helps with your emotions and it helps with your tummy. You gotta tell him he's quiet. <laughs> All right, the other one is to relieve mental fatigue 
Um, and if this is a massage blend, you can actually massage it on your muscles too. Okay, and um, so you can use four drops of cardamom, four drops of lavender, four drops of wild orange, six drops of ginger, and two tablespoons of fractionated coconut oil. Okay, and this here, you can massage it on your shoulders, okay, and lower back, uh, and uh, wherever you have um, aching muscles. Because, you know, when you think too much, um, you tend to have uh, tension in your shoulders, okay? And so you can, um, actually, it's very good for massaging um, on your lower abs for menstrual cramps too. So it's just fatigue. It's just spasms and tightness and uh, tension. Okay, so that's a different kind of massage. Um, so, you know, play with it, guys, because sometimes one thing will work for one time and then um, another thing will work for another time. So it's very interesting. Um, so, yeah, like me, I try different blends too because at times it works because I needed it for that. And then um, the next time I, it looks like I have similar problems, but it's not that oil that I needed. So you just have to kind of use a different blend and, and see what um, your body's asking for. Okay, so um, deep gut cleansing. Okay, so three drops of cardamom, two drops of coriander, two drops of fennel, two drops of bergamot. Okay, and then lots of um, fractionated coconut oil. And you want to rub it over your, your gut, your stomach area. Um, and this is, um, you know, things that come up um, that cause you to have that gut uh, concern or issues. Um, and it's related to thinking. Okay, this one is always related to something that you've been thinking about that you just can't get your mind out of. Um, I'm sure you know people that have um, old issues that um, they keep thinking about and of course their body reacts and you know when you talk to these people they bring up the same stories uh, that they're still grieving from from forever ago um, this here kind of disconnects and helps them let go of the past and stop thinking about that thing um, anymore okay so that's what I mean by deep gut cleansing because this is something that's deep in there from forever ago and their body the physical body is still holding on to something, even though you know you've cleansed and you've cleansed. There's still something in the corner that just won't let go, and it's sort of like your mental, um, your memory of some negative event or issue that um, keeps coming up, even though you've you know, resolved a lot of things already um, on the surface. But you know this here helps you fully let all that stuff go. Okay, so that means. Um, more pooping than <laughs> was just teasing me about um, talking about poop all the time. Okay, um, anyone with questions or comments? So could you um, maybe include this as part of your cleanse? Yeah, you know, I would do that at cleanse? the end of the 30 day cleanse um, because there's people that would do um, the cleanse to help clean out their gut um, and uh, clean out some emotional garbage. And so that during the cleanse, there's a lot of stuff happening already, but this here is, you know, like the icing on top. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's true. A lot of people, while they're doing their cleanse, they have yeah. these emotional issues come up. Well, stuff. you don't want to add to it because yeah. it's enough. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, a lot of people, even me, sometimes I find like some residual stuff that, you know, it comes back and lingers and then I finally identify it, you know, because we've cleared out a lot of the, the junk already. Now we actually see what's behind all that. So that's good. Um, and the last thing for the body, hi Peaches. Um, the last thing here for the body is the lung support. Guys, it's really, really good for the respiratory system and that's why it's in our breathe blend. So, you know, you can do two drops of cardamom, three drops of lemongrass, two drops of rosemary um, and mix it together. And that's another blend for your chest. 
and open airways because and uh, helps clear congestion. You know, it's interesting because sometimes our respiratory um, concern is due to you know certain emotions like um, that cardamom can take care of. So remember, cardamom is the um, oil of objectivity. It's, it's because you're so intertwined and wound up in that problem that you can't breathe, and um, so your breathing is associated with that um, that one problem. So it helps you disconnect. Okay, so I know that we've given you uh, uh, quite a bunch of uh, different recipes for respiratory. Um, you know, you might want to make one and then use it. And then if you have other respiratory problems um, at a different time, you might want to try a different blend, okay? Because um, you never know what's, uh, what it's trying to do. Okay, it's probably clearing different garbage in there. All right. So we're all good with the body. Does yes. anybody have any questions on any of those um, body ones? Okay, so you find that um, anytime you are, um, I guess, feeling like you're stuck in a situation and you can't um, be objective about it, you find that you have um, breathing concerns, right? You, you have a hard time breathing uh, clearly, deeply, in a relaxed way, and um, you will have some gut problems too. So this is amazing how it helps with your um, gut your, your respiratory system and then it helps you disconnect stuff from your mind and when that happens then you can breathe better and your physical body um, heals so it's amazing it's just you know all connected alrighty so we're gonna move on to the mind okay if you don't mind <laughs> <laughs> the cardamom is the oil of, of objectivity so you know, you see in people how people are so wound up and they can't see, um, you know, past their nose, right? And, but we, we do that too. We can't see what we can't see. And, and cardamom helps you do that. So with one of my friends, she, she's, um, she's a chiropractor and she actually, she treats people. But when it comes to treating uh, some close friends, for example, sometimes um, she just can't quite be objective enough to help them. And one time I came to my friend's office and she was like, Jade, I just, uh, I need another brain. Um, you know, this particular person has this one concern. What do you think I should do for her? And I gave her a suggestion and she said, oh, that's great. How did I, why did I not think about that? And I said, well, you should smell cardamom first so you can, you know, be objective and get out of that situation. And then you'd be able to see her like other um, patients, right? So anyway, sometimes we get too um, involved, okay? So if you find that you get easily angry and frustrated and you lose your cool, um, then try cardamom. I know that lavender and other oils are great too, but maybe it's because you just got yourself into it too deep and too wound up into it. You can't see um, the other side of things. Okay, so cardamom helps release uh, feelings and emotions of anger, frustration, objectifying others, blaming, and inability to think clearly. And it's funny how if our gut is messed up, we have, um, we have foggy brains, right? So this helps with the gut um, and helps clear the gut, but it helps clear the mind too. So it's so awesome that it's mind and spirit and body. Okay, so the positive emotion that it helps you obtain is to be more objective, okay? Have more self-control, more self-respect, more tolerant, patient, and mental uh, sobriety okay so that's cardamom now it helps you regain your objective mental emotional self-control so anger is often held in the liver and the gallbladder and the root of anger uh, root of yeah, anger is fear okay which is often held in the kidneys and bladder okay and fear makes us worried and grieve which affects the gut and lungs <laughs> so Cardamom will help with all of the organs, basically. So it starts with the gut and lungs and it goes backwards and all the other organs will feel better too. Okay. 
And remember, if we don't resolve our emotional problems early, um, then over time you have um, a deeper physical problem. Okay. Um, and uh, um, you can use cardamom for mental clarity and focus. So you can do eight drops of cardamom, four drops of ginger, and two drops of black pepper. Um, you have fennel, two drops, and you can do that in a roller bottle. Fill up the rest of your roller bottle with uh, fractionated coconut oil, and then apply it to the, your throat, the front of your throat, and the back of your throat. Okay, it helps clean the gut and clear the mind. So this is a really different kind of mental clarity. So you want to have anything to say? Comment? So mainly um, we're smelling this in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one is rubbing it on your throat, the throat chakra. Because sometimes when um, we can think clearly, you know, we can communicate clearly too. Okay, but this is helping you with um, clarity and focus. Okay, so that's really interesting. All right, so relieve fear of commitment. <laughs> That's really interesting. Uh, so this is two drops of cardamom, two drops of coriander, one drop of ro um, rose, and 20 drops of fractionated coconut oil. And you can apply it to the back of the neck, your sternum, and um, to help you feel an enhanced ability to move forward in a healthy manner. So you can smell it and say, I trust that I can take full responsibility of my own decisions. Right, so sometimes we fear commitment um, because we can't really see um, what we're committing to. And so a cardamom helps clear the way and helps you see that, you know, you can do it and see that path and what it's all about. I noticed that there's rose in this recipe and there's yeah, rose in an earlier recipe. That's yeah. not really the one that we can buy right now. What no, would you sorry. recommend? Uh, People yeah. Wanting to. Yeah. So just substitute the rose with geranium, guys. For now, if you don't have rose. Or could okay. you use maybe the rose oil lotion? Yes, you can use it if you want to make a lotion instead of um, the coconut oil. Yep. So for applying to the back of the neck, but maybe not yeah. diffusing. No. Don't try to diffuse lotion. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so. Relief of self-neglect, uh, one drop of cardamom, three drops of vetiver, and three drops of geranium with uh, 20 drops of fractionated coconut oil. And you can apply it on your feet. And guys, you can apply it on the lining of your underwear right after it comes out of the dryer. Um, Dr. Susan Lawton taught this, and she teaches this often. She, uh, you know, when people put the oils in the underwear, maybe the smell will go away after a little while. But when you wear that um, pair of underwear, the energy is still there and you want it to affect that first and second chakra. Okay, and that first and second chakra is about um, power and self. Uh, so it's helping you actually see yourself in a clear way. That's really good. And uh, it helps you find more happiness in yourself. So you can smell cardamom and say, I own my power to choose what is good for me. Okay, so that uh, you don't um, neglect yourself and um, you know, don't treat yourself well. Okay. Uh, the other thing here is digestion of reoccurring old painful things. Okay, so like I said earlier with the deep gut cleansing, uh, sometimes your emotional stuff comes up and it's just old painful stuff and you bring it up because you can't quite understand it and this is why people have a lot of constipation um, because they hold on they hold on to old stuff uh, because they're so they, they're not quite sure if they got it all or they're very fearful that this might happen again they're fearful that they will forget and then make the same mistake again or allow people to hurt them again um, so you know cardamom really helps with um, just letting things go you'll be okay uh, so three drops of cardamom three drops of frankincense two drops of patchouli two drops of ylang ylang and put that in a roller bottle and just use it regularly 
and it helps you actually start to appreciate um, you know the, the, the lessons that that painful situation has given you okay um, when you get to a point where you're grateful for it um, you've transcended you've you know let it go um, and you've really learned the lesson that you need to learn and you know what over time you can look back and um, learn a few other things when it comes you know when uh, more lessons come up that we don't have to stay still we can move forward okay so this allows you to resolve things and keep moving forward and remember if we hold on to things we um, have constipation problems and you know constipation leads to all sorts of gut problems okay so smell cardamom and say I release the need to hold on to pain and painful things I release the need to blame okay so um, I want to add a few more things with um, cardamom here we a lot of us have jobs and businesses and things and I know there's a lot of people that um, you know sometimes they just plow through and just take things at a step at a time and others they they hold on to uh, the pain the fears and um, you know we don't recognize it but it's pride it's actually pride okay so that holding on to fear because we're fearing that something might happen to us or something bad might happen to us so if you are in a situation where say you're teaching essential oils to people okay and you're afraid um, you're ba basically afraid of what might happen to you you know maybe these people will, will be mean or something will say mean things and hurt your feelings and then you'll shrivel up and hide in a corner so if you smell cardamom before you do a class you can drink it or whatever it'll take you out of that situation it'll help make you feel like um, you're connected to people and um, you don't need to worry about you and me it helps you kind of um, understand people without you being in the picture you know what I mean so being objective okay so that's one one thing to do because I know a lot of people they feel oh I'm so scared I'm so fearful I'll smell lavender uh, but sometimes you know try cardamom and see if that works for you too okay because sometimes you, you've got yourself so deep in there that you can see how terrible you are and all these things just take yourself out of it I do that a lot I just say look I'm the mouthpiece I'm just the messenger of these good things I can't be selfish and think about me so I just you know get into it Jade and help those people out and then at the end of it it's not as bad as you imagine okay so that's a really good oil I really appreciate cardamom all right any questions or comments guys All right, so we'll move on to spirit. Okay, so when we have a hard time uh, being objective, uh, this could be the false beliefs that we have inside. And the false belief normally leads to the root of feeling not good enough, basically. Um, so we, uh, we may feel smaller than our problems um, and um, we may feel like we're not powerful enough. Okay, that's why we get angry and irritated quickly because behind that anger is fear. Fear that oh, that might hurt me or that might affect me and that might damage my reputation or whatever it is. But if you take yourself out, you realize that you're just like everybody else, as powerful and as capable. Um, so you see things in a better way and you feel safer. Okay. So feeling unsafe inside causes a lot of problems, okay, uh, such as discrimination, hatred, jealousy, and intolerance. So you know how we see people that are intolerant um, and it's because they are fearful inside, okay? Um, so that, you know, I like to smell cardamom and to help us feel like we're, we're just the same as everybody else. Everybody's a child of God and we can be like anybody else and um, we're not extra stupid or extra whatever um, you know or you know if we judge others if they're extra stupid and whatever so cardamom helps you take yourself out of the picture and see that actually everybody's in the middle of their game and everyone's learning at different stages and it's okay okay alrighty so um, cardamom helps you be objective okay 
and helps you feel less overwhelmed and burdened. Okay, and then you don't need to be focusing on your problem so much. And actually you can see um, and pay attention to others around you. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes we get um, bogged down with our, our own stuff and think that we've got it worse than others. Um, and uh, we don't take the time to, to reach out and, and see other people and, uh, and help other people uh, when we re really actually can. Okay, so take yourself out of the picture, use cardamom, and uh, you'll see that you, you have more ability. Okay. All right, so that's all we have. Uh, we have this uh, top 10 uses for cardamom here. Okay, and um, you can download that and print that out if you like. Any and questions or comments? Yeah, are there any questions short, or comments? Short, um, call. I think you nailed it. <laughs> All right, if you do have any questions or you have something, maybe an experience that you want to share, there's always a section here at the bottom where you can leave uh, some comments, uh, ask a question. We read all the questions and reply to all of them. Um, if you're listening to this podcast, um, you know, you can log in here, jadebalden.com slash cardamom and leave your questions there or YouTube that has their own, um, you know, you can leave a comment on that video. Subscribe, um, you know, to YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube or um, in the podcast, you know, make sure you you're yeah. getting the podcast daily. There should be at least three um, new podcasts from them. Um, we know a lot of people are listening to this and like to thank everybody for listening um, and, um, you know, everything that everybody's co contributed. Um, so this and lots of all the videos and that just thought of another made. thing, actually. Um, you know how uh, I, I get a few people um, that I talk to weekly as we do mentoring. So um, some of my friends in the past have cried to me and said felt a little bit rejected and felt really sad about different things that people have said um, because they're putting themselves out there, and you can't quite let that go. Um, so of course, you know, you want to forgive and forget and everything, but your, your brain and everything is so, um, wound up and connected to that, uh, experience. So cardamom helps you kind of take yourself out. And, um, that's another good thing about cardamom. Take yourself out and just look at yourself in a different way. And then you don't feel so bad. Kind of like that song <laughs> in the Sound of Music. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody. Um, unless there are any other questions, uh, yeah. so we'll tie this one up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope I hope you you got the information. I hope there was some, yeah, clear. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. I think this is a shorter oil than mm -hmm. yours. Yeah. The bottle's short. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I I haven't tried that oil yet, guys, uh -huh. but. Um, I've learned some interesting points. <laughs> I've been taking snapshots of the uh, the information there, the the formulas and stuff that you posted up, and everything. But I just want to say hi. That's all. <laughs> Pretty soon you're gonna have all the oils, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, I just got another box tonight. <laughs> I have the fennel from uh, two was it two weeks ago. The fennel we talked about. <laughs> yeah, yes, funny. I'm experimenting. Before you yeah. came, we were just reminding everybody about the 200 PV promotion for this month, which is Immortel. Yeah. Yes, I've got that too. <laughs> well, I, I should have it in the box. Up to four times. Yeah. If you have like orders that you're putting in for someone else, like oh, we had some friends this, this afternoon uh, we were talking to say, you know, if call your friends or your, your grandmother or something <laughs> yes want yeah. to, they don't have an account have yet they haven't friends. made that move um, but they like, want to order some products mm -hmm. so you can say well would you like me to add it to my order yeah cool. like my grandma she doesn't speak english and she's just you know but they buy deep blue rubs and they buy the toothpaste and things so i mean just asking once in a while hey do you need anything and they say yes yeah, supplies they want some supplies and my uncle bought like 10 um, toothpaste 
a long time. So it's like, yeah, it's to stock up because you know, yeah. people yeah. want to help you out and you, you want to stock up on your um, immortal. So that's, that's usually the time that I do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. June, in, June in, and December. I like to get as many frankincense as I can. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Once again, thank you, everybody, for joining us. We're going to go ahead and stop our recording now. Um, okay. and those of you that are on the call will stay here for any extra questions that you might have. Yeah. I can find the stop button. There we go. Bye. <laughs>